I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com and this is my review and installation of the TerraFlex HD tie rod and drag link kit fitting all 2007 and up JKs. This kit is also available in a flip kit and each of these pieces are available independently. However, if you're looking to upgrade your full steering, this is a nice kit that includes both pieces. Today we're gonna to talk through the installation of these parts onto your JK, which is a very simple one out of three wrench installation. This is going to take you under two hours to get these installed and adjusted properly and there is no major modification to your Wrangler necessary. We're also going to talk through the construction and a few of the other features of this kit. If you do some hardcore wheeling with your Jeep and or you have really large tires on your Wrangler, a setup like this is going to provide a ton of strength which is going to help in a lot of different ways. When you are off-road, the factory tie rod is very exposed and it's very easy to bang it into a rock or a stump and bend it, which can ruin your day of off-roading. So upgrading to a much stronger version like this is certainly a good idea. And upgrading your drag link when you have large tires can get rid of what would otherwise feel like a wobble. You can actually have your factory drag link bend a little bit when you are off-road hitting big bumps with large tires so upgrading to a much stronger than factory drag link will take care of that situation on the road and having the additional strength off-road gives you the ability to wheel your Jeep hard without the worry of bending any of your steering components. As far as drag link and tie rod kits go, this is one of the heaviest duty setups that you can buy. It does have a little bit of a higher price tag on it, but when you consider how much stress these parts are taking off-road, in my opinion, this is one of those areas where you should spend a little bit more money as long as you're getting more quality for your dollar. And I think that's the case with this setup. This comes with very strong components that are also adjustable. These tie rod ends here from TerraFlex are not only greasable, but they're also adjustable with a spanner wrench. You just have to loosen a couple of set screws and you can tighten up the preload on those. So if they ever do start to wear on you, if you feel like you do have a little bit of additional play, you can go through, tighten everything up. You don't have to replace anything. It doesn't cost you anything. You can tighten up the preload on those tie rod ends and any wobble will be gone. And that's not something that can be said about a lot of the other steering setups on the market. They may be very strong, but if they do eventually wear out, you're going to be purchasing new replacement parts. With these, you can adjust them. TerraFlex says that this setup is over 200% stronger than factory, and I absolutely believe it after taking these parts out of the box and actually handling them. These are very, very heavy duty. This tie rod is 1.6 inches in outer diameter, and your drag link is going to be an inch and a quarter in outer diameter. Your tie rod ends are both made of 4140 chromoly that's also been heat treated for additional strength. And everything about this setup screams strength. Your tie rod is going to have one standard thread and one opposite thread tie rod so that you can adjust it on the Jeep. Of course, it has some nice large stop nuts to make sure everything stays tight where you put it. And your drag link is going to have a more factory style sleeve adjuster so that you can make sure you get your steering wheel nice and center. But again, something that I said, I mentioned before and something I really like about this setup is these tie rod ends right here. They are greasable, they have a recessed grease fitting, so you're not gonna tear the grease fitting off ever. It's always gonna be there, accessible, but also protected. But if you loosen up a couple of set screws around the outside and you have your spanner wrench, you can tighten down the preload on that tie rod end, getting rid of any play that might occur over a long period of wheeling your Jeep really hard. And again, that's not something you get from a lot of places. If you are looking to upgrade your steering, why wouldn't you upgrade to a system that could be the last one you'll ever have to buy because it's very strong and when the tie rod ends do start to wear, you can simply tighten them up. And if you can't tighten them up enough, they have a snap ring on them where you can take them apart and you can rebuild them. Again, not something you find in a lot of other places. I think that this is a very, very well-built system. And if you have the budget for it, it might be the last steering system you'll have to buy for your JK. So in my opinion, it's worth the cost. Now, because this system is so heavy duty and these tie rod ends are so large and beefy, you do have to have a 17 inch wheel if you're running OE wheels 
uh, in order to fit these tie rod ends on your steering knuckles. So you do have to be a little bit concerned about wheel size and backspacing with this setup, but that's gonna be the case with any setup that has very strong oversized tie rod ends. I said before that getting this installed in your Jeep is a very simple process, about two hours by the time you get your old system removed, get the new system in place, and get everything adjusted properly. So the first step is, of course, removing your old system. You're going to have some castle nuts. You'll have to remove cotter pins, remove the castle nuts, and then remove the tie rod ends from their seats. Now, the factory tie rod ends are a taper fit, so the way that you get those removed is not by hitting straight down on the top of the tie rod end. All that's going to do, even if you put a nut on there, is going to mushroom that tie rod end, making it much more difficult to get out of its hole. What you want to do is actually hit the steering knuckle perpendicular to the tie rod end. There's usually a flat spot molded right into your steering knuckle, and what that's going to allow you to do is pop that tie rod end out nice and easy. Now, as far as the pitman arm goes, that's a little bit of a different story. Oftentimes, you are going to want to use a pitman arm puller or a tie rod end puller on your pitman arm. To remove your drag link, hitting it with a hammer can cause some damage to the steering box if you're not doing it right. Uh, so you, want to, you will want to have a puller on hand in order to get that removed. You're also going to need a large 21 millimeter socket in order to remove the nut off of your pitman arm to get that drag link free. Once you have all of your factory system removed, you can take some measurements end to end of your factory tie rod and of your factory drag link and dial in your adjustment just to get things started off for your lengths. Then you go ahead and install these components in exactly the factory location using all of the new hardware that they come with. And then you can fine tune your toe and make sure that your steering wheel is good and centered by making any fine tune adjustments after that. Again, very easy install, goes right in, in place of your factory system, but is a massive upgrade over stock. And if you have big tires on your Jeep, this is something you might feel driving down the road right away. If you have big tires and your factory drag link was bending, causing a little bit of a wobble, that you're gonna get that taken care of right away. And when you do hit the trails, you're gonna do it with confidence, knowing that you have a ton of strength. I mentioned before, this system is a little bit pricey. You're gonna be at about $750 for the pair, the drag link, and the tie rod. And there are some systems out there that are more expensive that have a slightly beefier drag link, but because of the adjustability that you get on the tie rod ends here, because of the strength, I think that this is a really nice mix of both price and value. Sure, you can spend another four or $500, you can get a different version of this setup, but I really like the adjustability and the strength that you get with this, and I think it's a very good buy. So if you're looking to upgrade the steering components on your JK because you have large tires, because you wheel hard, because you want the confidence of knowing that you're not going to bend or break your steering linkage when you are in an off-road situation, or maybe you've already bent up your factory system and you're looking for a really strong replacement, I think this is going to be an excellent option for you as long as you have the budget for it. So that's my review of the TerraFlex HD tie rod and drag link kit fitting all 2007 and up JKs that you can find right here at extremeterrain.com.